Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox the Makita brushless drill driver. Now this is not the hammer drill, and uh, yeah, this was a part of the Black Friday slash holiday sale for a hundred dollars. You get the brushless drill driver, battery, uh, bag, and a charger. So like the the Black Friday sales that has been going on for the past month or. Uh, past uh, two months are were absolutely insane and so uh, I got I'm getting everything that I can while the prices are low uh, and so yes we are gonna unbox this take a look at the specs and do a little test on it to see what this can do so the model number is XFD 131 and yes this is just uh, a single tool kit and so let's unbox this and uh, see what's inside and take a look at the specs Alrighty, so, just got that right there, I think. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, so the first thing you get, of course, uh, there it is, is uh, the catalog and instructions and warranty. Put that in the instruction and warranty bag and it like i said it does come with a bag i have quite a few of these now i'm actually not going to open that all right so then the, it does come with a belt clip luckily which means i'll need this and it comes with a charger which this is uh is it the same one i think it is dc yes it is dc 18 sd and once again, you cannot open up. You cannot uh, put this up on the wall, but it does have rubber stops, uh, so you can put it on a flat surface, and it just won't slide everywhere. So that's useful to have. So I'm gonna keep this wrapped, because I actually have like about uh, two chargers so far, and I don't need this one unwrapped. I'm just gonna keep it as is. All right, then the next thing you get is a three amp hour battery. Let's open this bad boy up, see what the battery is at. And one thing I love Makita does is Makita comes with that plastic guard. I like this guard on the, on the batteries. I do. All right, the battery is dead. Like No lights are showing on it whatsoever. So we're going to have to put that on charge. I have a battery charger in the house. And then last but not least, you get the drill. What we have here is the uh, Makita brushless drill driver. And this is model number FXD13. Uh, it has two speed modes, one and two. And it is a 20... I think, ooh, I like that click. 21 point chuck plus one for drill and the speed one uh it is zero to 500 rpms and on speed two it is zero to 1900 rpms now it does not say torque on there it is a plastic uh chuck but just like every other drill out there this actual this doesn't matter what material this is this uh if this is metal or plastic, it just means that if you drop this, this is less likely to break if it's pla if it's metal. But no matter what, on every single drill, inside of the chuck and around it is metal. Only thing that is plastic to uh, most uh, to some brands is the actual grip. You know, but every single chuck out there is metal, no matter what. Uh, if it's plastic, it won't even uh, screw in a simple, it won't even drive in a simple screw. All right, so this is 440 inch pounds of torque. So th that's not that much, but at the same time, look at the size of the drill. It's a, it's a fairly small drill. It is not big like its big brother, the brushless hammer drill. So we are going to test this out and see what this can do on a 4x4. And one thing we are going to do, today we are going to break this in. I got the Bosch uh, self-feeding 
uh, spade bit. Uh, it is a one and a half inch. So major stress test coming up with this one. Major stress test. So let's uh, see what this can uh, see what this drill can do. I have to charge this up too. There you go. I love the belt clips. I love them. Alrighty, so we got the Makita here. Uh, two LED lights underneath the truck. This thing is. This thing feels. I love Makita's handles. It feels really good in my hand. These uh, Milwaukee gloves. I love these. The other ones were too thick. The thinner ones actually. Uh, when it comes to actually working. They, they're better to use. Alright, so first we're going to use a half inch drill. Half inch drill bit. Right, let's see what this thing can do. We're going to do, uh, we'll, we'll do two holes at once. No, we're going to do, we'll do two holes individually, then uh, two holes at once. Alright, so ready? Go. There we go. Now remember, this is a 4x4, not a 2x4. As you can see, 4x4. Four four. A little bit more. Go. Nope. Go all the way through. Yes, it did. That's time. All right, so let's do two more in a row. Ready? Go. Very good. Now I learned how to time that, so as you can see, the correct time is displayed now in, in spite of my mess up. All righty. So next we are going to do a three quarter inch hole and see how this does. All right, so ready, go. Wow, not bad. Oh, it did stop though. I was hoping that it wouldn't. So let's go to one. All right, now we're going to do one more test on one. Let's see if it can do it. Ready? Go. There we go. All right, now we're going to do one more on two and see if it can do it. All right, so we're going to go speed two. It's on drill. Ready? Go. Oh. There we go. It almost did it. It almost did it. It might be almost time to get a new one of these, too. This has been through a lot. First, we're going to see what this can do with a uh, one-inch spade. And if it does decently, we are going to graduate to one and one eighth, then one and a half. Gotta love that click. All right, the battery currently is at three bars. All right, so ready, go. Wow, I'm not gonna push. I'm not pushing. That actually, that actually finished it. All right, let's see what it does for one and one eighth. All right, so ready, go. Wow. Wow. 
Not bad at all. Look at that. All the way to the tip. Not bad at all. Now let's go to number one. Look at that. It's doing a good job. No, no burning. I smell, I smell a little burnt wood though, but not the drill. All right, so we have graduated to one and a half. Let's see what it can do with this. All right, so ready, go. Ooh. All right, maybe we have to test it out on speed one. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's a bit much for the like one and a half. That's like that's majorly restricting. All right, we're gonna have to go slower. All right, ready? Go. Wow. Wow. Look at that. It did it. It can go a little bit more. A little bit more. That's it. It did it. It did it. No burning. No burning smell whatsoever. Bar, bars are at three bars still. Now what is going to be fun though is taking this out. Let's see if we can do it. There we go. Wow. It did it. One and a half inches. One and a does it show it? One and a half inches. Wow. Look at the size of that. And it did it. Self uh, self uh, driving too. Wow. All right, so this little guy did a fantastic job. One and a half inch self driving spade bit. It did it with no problem on speed one. And even though it has all that torque and it was twisting my wrist like that, not a single hint of like an overworked motor. So this has been the unboxing and demonstration of this $100 Black Friday slash holiday sale toolkit for Makita. And so this is just the beginning of the new test. Now every one, every drill, is gonna go through this and see which one is dominant, uh, see which one prevails in versus videos. Now this this is a major stress test. One and, and I'm, I'm looking for bigger ones, so just so you guys know. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.